Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, we got another action figure review. This is the Spider-Man Advanced Suit uh, from Marvel Select. Uh, I got him from the calendar store at my mall. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging here. So here's the front Spider-Man collector's action figure with accessories. He has web holding hands or the hands to hold the phone. Two pairs of them, two whipping hands, two wall curling hands, and then two fisted hands. Um, the web thing that comes, it came with, I'm pretty sure it was the Velocity suit from Marvel Legends. It looks pretty close to looking like that. Spider drone, and then the phone. Um, here's the front. Not much on the side. Here's the back. If you guys want, pause it and read this. Here's the bottom, not much top same deal on this side whoops uh you can see that it has whoops sign logo and a game reverse so that's all i've got for the boxing so let's crack this thing open and here he is out of the packaging um i have some little things that uh, i think they could have improved on it but uh, let's take a look at the figure. Oh, wait, nope. First, let's take a look at the accessories. So, like I said, it came with this, like the webbing, the enemy web. has these hooks that so stays on a little better. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Velocity web accessory that it came with to hook on the webs. So, it'd be like something like this, kind of, like that. It's a little bit bigger, but yeah. It's pretty good. Um... And then let's take a look at the spider drone. So it looks pretty much the same as the game. But nothing too crazy about it. It's just a little decorative thing, I guess, that they put in. But I like the metallic red that they put in it. Webbing. The eyes look good. But nothing much else to say about that. Then here's the cell phone. Nothing too fancy about it. Uh, and then here's the cell phone holding hands. Let's see here. So it'd be something like this where you put it, like, slide it in like that, through the tip, the fingertips like that. Yeah. Um, and then doping hands. Yeah. I like the little detail, like the indent, uh, embedding thing that they did with the hand guards looks good a little bit of red bleeding in there um uh, but yeah nothing too fancy about that either and then here's the wall crawling hands just a little bit of red blending in there too if you could see it i'm not sure if you can but yeah you can see like a little bit of red in there um but yeah not nothing too fancy about it uh so let's take a look at the figure here too so I like what they did i'm i'm like the um marvel legends one they did i think they did a really good job on the eyes for this figure and the details of the suit look great i'm like the marvel legends one doesn't the marvel legends one looks similar but not as accurate as this figure does um, I like what they did here with the back. It looks good. I feel like the Marvel Legends one, they did it, they made him look a little too bulky, like the shoulders were huge and wide. Whereas this one, they got the actual looks down and stuff like that. Feet look great. They got the details for the feet and the bottom here. Cool. Um... And I also like how they like, what's the word? They gave you texture for the like spider emblems. Um, also the guards and stuff too. Unlike the Marvel Legends again. 
Um, but yeah, I like the I like the looks of it. it. Looks cool. The only problem that I have is that this is a little weird right here compared to this. This one's a brighter red. This one's like a little bit darker. I'm not sure if it's because like the black was bleeding through when you were printing it or something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, I like the looks of it. But the minor problems were the uh, was it articulation for him? So I'll show you what he does. Let me raise the camera up just a little bit. So his head can barely go down. Barely. Like, doesn't even go down, actually. And head doesn't even go up either. That's the problem. Uh, left to right motion, like zero head pivot. Arms could go up that high, like barely. Uh, 360 rotation is good. Bicep swivel, bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, hinges, wrist hinge could go down that far, go up that far, 360 rotation, uh, diaphragm joint and waist, the pelvis joint. So this is the diaphragm joint barely doesn't even go down that much. Backwards, eh, it's okay. And then pelvis joint or is like down that much backwards like very little and then when you put it all together it's like zero i mean like it barely does anything and then backwards i mean it does a good job in the back could do it a little better i saw some guy on um youtube where he improved the articulation for this area in particularly because the main like articulation for sperm is like is like getting down to his like superior pose he barely goes down. <laughs> I would have thought they would have done like a little bit of a better job on the articulation in Marvel Legends, especially when this is like a higher, what's the word, higher graded figure for Marvel Select, especially with the looks too. I would have thought they would have done a little bit better. Um, his leg kick to the side is really good. Um, forward, pretty good. Backwards, not much. Uh, thigh cut. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you can also like rotate them and rotate the the diaphragm joint to make them look in, like this. Um, also, double jointed knees, pretty good. Uh, ankle pivot down that far, up that far, pretty good. Ankle pivot still pretty stiff, but yeah. Um, I might try to fix them up a little bit. Uh, I might take a look at this video and try to fix this up because I really want him to be able to actually go down. Whereas, like, this guy barely goes down. That's the only problem that I have with it. And also the head. They can also could have done better on the head too, which is my problem with it too. But besides that, if I fixed it, it would have been a really good figure. But... If they came out like this, it, I'm pretty sure it would have made everyone a lot more happier, but you can do your own stuff to it and fix it up, but it would have been nice if they did it, so that way it didn't take that much time out of people's hands to try to fix it up. But yeah, it had some fun to it, I guess. I like, Oh yeah, one more detail I almost forgot to say. Like you see the little texturing that they added through this, and then the bi uh, bicep too, pretty cool. They did a lot better on the looks than Marvel Legends, but the articulation, they did pretty poorly compared to the Marvel Legends. Otherwise, if they would have done better with the ab, like the ab crunch and head, they would have been like a perfect Spider-Man Advance suit, but they didn't really do the articulation that well. Um, but, yeah. But that's all I got for this review. Like, whoops, I hit my camera. Um, but I feel like they would have done it a little bit. But this would have been like a perfect Spider-Man Advance suit if they just did a little bit better on the head articulation going up and down, and then also the ab crunch. Otherwise, whoops, the looks of it is like perfect. It's just the articulation that they could have done a lot better. But I'll put a link in the description to that guy's uh, video to fix him up. I will try to fix him up. I really don't want to mess up the look at all so we'll see how this that goes i really don't want to do it because this guy is a little more expensive than marvel legends i might not even do it to be honest but 
If you guys want to be able to fix up the app crunch, I'll put a link in the description for that guy's video to improve it. Oh yeah. And the last thing, I, I never, I very rarely get the Marvel Select guys, but, oh, never mind. This thing just comes with a bunch of other extra stuff. All right, never mind then. Um, but, um, yeah, if you could, make sure you like that and subscribe this video. Um, and then I'll see you next time. So that's all I've got for this video. Um, like usual, make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highline Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with. Um, they have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buick 767. And then Connor's card page is Loud Jeep 07, but it's Jeep blew, Jeep's engine blew up. So he has a new car now. He's probably going to end up changing it. I'll update it when he does. Um, and then also, um, my PayPal will be in the description with all that stuff. Um, my PayPal is supposed to help me out with getting more games to react to. Uh, I want to get Marvel Avengers, Cyberpunk 2077, a few others. Um, and if I get enough money and subscribers, um, I want to do something cool for the first hundred subscribers where they'll get a free hoodie by me. But you, you first hundred subscribers can give me design ideas. I'll do videos of me drawing design ideas that you told me and if they're good that'll be your hoodie design and obviously i'll add my own stuff like the hunter collector one on the sleeve and my logo on the back saying something but if you can um uh, make sure you like and subscribe and then post notifications and notifications are supposed to help out with you being able to see all my videos in time when they come out right away um, I do all my editing. I'm practicing. I'm work doing a little more with my editing on videos now. Um, so my videos will be out a little later than they usually are. Um, or when you think they are, then they have been actually. Um, but besides that, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.